Hello, I'm Brian Fitzgerald, the Golf Doctor, and today I'm going to take a look at the biggest putting mistake I see most golfers make. So if this is the first time to this channel, welcome. This channel is all about helping you play better golf and of course lowering your golf score. One of the best ways to do that is to uh, hit the subscribe button, click the bell notification and then you're notified of all of my videos as I get them released. So as I said, today we're going to look at the biggest putting mistake that I see. And I see lots and lots and lots of putting mistakes, but this one here is by far the biggest. I'm a full-time golf coach and have been coaching golf now for 35 years. And I see lots of things, but this is by far the most common thing that I see. And I was told this when I was a kid, that when we putt, we want that putting stroke to go straight back and straight through. And if we can do that, we're going to be a good putter. The problem is, it doesn't actually work. I've, I've actually not seen anyone go straight back and straight through. I've seen lots of people trying. I've tried it myself for a long time. But if we think about it, the only way we can possibly get that putting stroke to go straight back and through is if we had our spine at a 90 degree angle to the ground. So if I had my spine at the 90 degree angle, I would then be able to easily make the putter go straight back and straight through along the path. Now we're not standing with our spine straight back and straight through. I know probably a good example would be Michelle We tried, she got close, but there's no way I can do it. I'm 54 years of age, I can't get much over the ball like that. So I wouldn't be too stressing too much about it. The putter itself is designed to rotate a little during the course of the stroke. So that's not for me to say that I want you to really manipulate the club face open and closed, but all of the weight of this putter is in front of the shaft of the golf club. So if all the weight is in front of the shaft, it means that the putter is going to rotate quite naturally during the course of the stroke. So I want to encourage a club face to rotate. As I said, we're not trying to manipulate it, just let it go. So as I stand over the ball, and I've got my eyes either over the ball or slightly inside, I'm taking the putter back and the club face rotates a little bit open through to a little bit closed. And if you think about the three reasonably well acknowledged best putters in the world, they would be, not necessarily in order, a, a South African guy called Bobby Locke, way back uh, a long time ago. He was one of the best putters. Ben Crenshaw was one of the best putters that I used to see when I was growing up. And in modern day terms, it was hard to go past Tiger Woods when he was putting at his absolute best. Now the three things that they all have in common is they all have face rotation through the ball. In fact, Tiger Woods had an extremely high face rotation. So you don't need to worry about whether or not your face is rotating. The only thing we need to really concern ourselves with is, is the club face relatively square at impact? And that's what we're really focusing on. So if I stand over that golf ball, I'm not going to try and manipulate. I'm just going to allow the club to rotate a little bit back and through, and that was right in the jaws, but because I was talking, I didn't concentrate on pace, left it short. We'll have another go at that one. But you can see I didn't miss by much, it was short, it, was in, it, took, the, it took the break, but I'm allowing that putter to rotate. Now everyone is gonna have a different amount of rotation, and you can get a great little device called Blast Motion, and uh, you can do a search for it online, I don't sell it. Uh, I just endorse it, and it tells you the amount of rotation. Now what we're trying to do is if you rotate back six degrees, you want to rotate through six degrees so we can get that club face relatively square at the moment of impact. That's what we're trying to do. Now the problem is everyone thinks, oh gee, I've got to have a straight back and straight through motion. So the, the biggest mistake that I see is in trying to do that, people come through with their club face open and they start missing the ball out to the right quite regularly. So I'm all about allowing the club face to rotate naturally through the ball. If you're not sure what that feels like, just do it with one hand. 
grip it relatively light and you'll find that the club face wants to rotate itself through the shot. It feels really uncomfortable having that one hand on there, but you can see there the club face is rotating. It's good to allow the club face to rotate. So that's it. The biggest fault that I see in most golfers when they putt is they've just got this mindset of allowing the club face to stay nice and square. So unfortunately, it just makes the putter go outside the line and you hold it open coming inside the line. Give it a go. So if you're interested in short putting, uh, I've got a video that I'll put a link to at the info card at the top of the page there. Uh, and it's a link to my video that I made on uh, short putting tips. So there's a lot of really good information in that there. So that's the tip for the week. Just allow that club face to rotate. Don't try and strangle it and try and manipulate the club. Just let it move freely and I think you'll find you're gonna start holding more putts and even if you don't, you're gonna find you're gonna miss putts by less. So thank you for letting me help you with your golf. I'm Brian Fitzgerald, the Golf Doctor, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.